Good morning to your viewers around the world and thank you for tuning in into the broadcast. What a great blessing, what a great decision we have made and I can assure you that your life will never be the same. My name is Prophet Tom Tidwangani. I want you to understand something. There is one thing the church has neglected. One discipline the church has not paid attention. There is one wall the church has not built. There is one thing the church has not emphasized. It is the discipline of prayer. Are you praying? Are you finding time to pray? Prayer is work, but prayer works. Without prayer, our spiritual life is often empty, uninspired, without revelation and without direction. Do you want your life to have direction? Do you want your life to have a lasting impact? The secret lies in prayer. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ had the custom to wake up every morning and go to the mountain to pray. Do you have the habit of prayer? Daniel had the habit of prayer. Three times a day, he prayed on his upper room, in his upper room, facing towards Jerusalem. In the early church, they devoted themselves daily to prayer. And when Paul was visiting many cities, they would visit the places of prayer. Our generation has become a playing generation instead of a, a praying generation. I invite you to join the international prayer line with Prophet Tom. A place where you, where you will learn to pray. Not just to pray, but to pray effective prayer. Not just effective prayer, but to pray prayer that moves mountains. Prayer that changes mountains. Prayer that brings revival. It is not ritual prayer. It is not self-seeking prayer. It is ultimately prayer lost in your desire and in your quest to please God. Prayer that's causing a tremendous influence around the world. So much testimony, so much stories of lives that have been transformed through the discipline of prayer. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite you to a time of prayer. We are praying every day at 4 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Surely you can find a time for prayer. He who neglects to pray, neglects fellowship with God. And prayer is work, but prayer works. We are going to pray until something happens. God has assured me that our generation, unlike any other generation, shall see the glory of God. Are you ready to see the glory of God into your life? It begins with prayer. Be a prayerful Christian. Do not neglect prayer. Thank you so much and God bless you.